Now for the mayor's report. First, uh, when we walked in tonight, a gentleman in the back asked me about the Wi-Fi password for City Hall. Unfortunately, we don't have Wi-Fi here for the public. It's something I put on an agenda a while ago, council postponed. Uh, you haven't seen it back on an agenda, but that's because staff is diligently working on it. And hopefully in the next coming weeks, we'll have Wi-Fi not just here at City Hall, but hopefully we'll expand that out to the town green uh, and surrounding areas. So look for that to come. We are working on it diligently. Uh, a lot has been happening these past couple of weeks. I had the honor of uh, kicking off the first annual breast cancer walk with the Shiloh Athletic Association last week. And we're hoping to grow that next year, maybe move it to Briscoe Park and have a competition between the Shiloh Athletic Association and the South Gwinnett Athletic Association. So it still is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, please remember those uh, who have suffered from breast cancer and their families. I also want to thank Britt Elementary School. I was able to attend their health fair the same day back on October 13th. Uh, Principal Jones does a wonderful job out at Britt Elementary School, so thank you for inviting me to that. I want to apologize to Kelly. I understand y'all had perfect weather for the fall festival. I was in Savannah all weekend and unable to attend, but thank you for putting that on and for the great job that you and all the volunteers did. Wednesday, I will be honored to be at Centerville Elementary School to present a proclamation to the principal there. She's being promoted to the county office, so please give her her congratulations. She's done a wonderful job over at Centerville Elementary School. The uh, students that are here from South Gwinnett High School, I'll be at your homecoming on Friday and your homecoming game Friday night, so good luck to y'all. Uh, but more importantly, after homecoming, November 2nd, is the Brookwood South Gwinnett football game. And that is the Mayor's Cup, the Battle of Snellville. So I will be there giving out the Mayor's Cup to the winner. Uh, but we have something special going on at that football game. There's a young gentleman, his name is Justin Lansford, and he is a graduate of Brookwood High School. He enlisted in the military after he graduated and he went to serve over in Afghanistan. Unfortunately, he lost his legs in Afghanistan. We're happy and we're um, excited to welcome him home to Brookwood High School on November 2nd. We're going to have some special uh, halftime activities. The ROTC from South Gwinnett High School is going to be there to, rep uh, to represent South Gwinnett. And it's going to be a community effort, and I'll be presenting him with the key to the city. Uh, so if you're not busy Friday, November 2nd, please come out to the football game. It's at Brookwood High School this year. And show your support, not, just, not only for our high school athletics, uh, but for Justin Lansford uh, and the, uh, the the sacrifice he gave to our country. Uh, on that, remember to vote November 6th and uh, to watch tonight's debate. One last thing, I, I had the opportunity last week to record a radio show. I haven't gone back to listen to it. I'm a little scared it aired uh, this weekend, but it's called Community Profiles, and it was an opportunity for me to talk about everything great going on in our city. Uh, it is on their website, communityprofiles.com, and so I encourage all of y'all to check out the website and to check out everything that Snellville has to offer. With that, I will close the mayor's report and open it up for public comments. Please state your name and address for the record.